It's like, oh my gosh, it balances perfectly. That is such a good idea, guys. everybody and welcome back to another day in my life as a middle distance teenage runner um, so this morning obviously as you saw I woke up at about 7 a.m. Um, and I'm doing my session in the morning today which is because I did my long run in the afternoon yesterday actually it was literally the evening I came back from my long run I finished at like 6 30 p.m. so that was like 12 hours ago and because I've been on a little bit of a break, that was the first long run I'd done in over a month. And although it was only 12 kilometers, my legs are kind of tired. So <laughs> I did a bit of rolling this morning, um, but I'm going to do a hill session now this morning just because I wanted to get it over and done with in the morning. Um, so we'll see how my legs are feeling. But yeah, I'm going to drive about 15 minutes to get to some hills um, and then we'll go from there. Oh, runner. Um, okay, so we have just pulled up at the running location, which is Perry Lakes. I used to live about a 30 second walk from here, um, and it's massive. And then I'm going to be running in Bold Park, which is in. Oh, I should have driven and parked. Over the, oh, never mind. Um, I'm going to be running in Bold Park because that is hilly, um, and it's a hill session today. I'll explain a bit more about my session in a minute. But yeah, I used to live literally a 30 second walk from here, so obviously I just run to here from home. Um, but we just moved house last week, so now I don't, so it's about a 15 minute drive, like I said. Um, and now I'm here, so I'm gonna go on my warm up, which I won't film, because it's like two kilometers. Um, but then when I come back, I'll film my stretching and my drills and everything, so I will see you after my warm up. Just finished my warm up, it was very slow. Um, I am most definitely very tired after yesterday. But I'm just going to power through the session, slowly. <laughs> yeah, just going to get the session done as best as I can do it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some stretching and drills now. So, here they are.
Okay, so I've done my stretching and now I'm going to do some drills. Okay, so stretching and drills are now done and I'm going to go into the hills and do about eight kilometers of hill running, which I'm not looking forward to, but that's okay. <laughs> it's got to be done, so I'm gonna go and do that now. And I will see you when I get back and then I'm gonna do stride outs and a cool down afterwards. So I will see you then and I'll be a very happy to you because my session will be done for the day. Mmm. I have finished my run. I just chugged this whole water bottle. I'm so dead. Oh my gosh. I didn't even run fast and my legs were just so dead. It's really quite a shame how unfit I am at the moment because I wasn't even going fast and my legs were so dead. Like at one point I got to the top of a hill and I just could not keep going so I had to stop running. I just stood there for like a minute recovering. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so dead. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I did eight kilometers. Um, <sighs> it's actually a shame how unfit. I, is, is this camera zoomed in? No, no. <laughs> oh, it's just my face looks really big. Um, it's a real shame how unfit I am, but I had like two weeks off running. Like, I only ran three times during two weeks, and then I had one week of like where I did four runs, I think. And then last week I did five training sessions and I actually started training properly. So this is like my second week. And also just the long run yesterday just killed me for today. Cause like that was like literally 14 hours ago that I did a 12K long run for the first time in like six weeks. So, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go do stride outs now. You can watch. Um, where's my key? I hate running with my car key. It's so irritating. I hate running with anything. Um, like in my in my hands someone asked me the other day one of you guys commented and asked if I listen to music or podcasts while I run and I don't because I hate having things to carry like I I can never run with my phone I can't run with like a little iPod or something like I just can't have it I can't and I don't like things in my ears when I'm running like I just don't like things on my body apart from clothes when I'm running so no I don't listen to music or podcasts or anything I just run um, and listen to the sound of nature. I hope it's not gonna rain because I don't think this camera's waterproof. Um, the sky's kind of looking a bit gray, but I'm gonna do my stride outs now, so yeah. <laughs> my stride outs and I'm just gonna go for my cool down now it's one to two kilometers so <laughs> we'll probably be one kilometer but yeah just gonna go for a very 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 slow cool down and then I drive home and then and then I don't know <laughs> Thank you.
I know I said I don't like to hold things when I'm running, but I am sacrificing that so I can vlog on my cool down. Sorry, it's so bumpy, but I'm running. So what do you expect? Oh, okay. I'm actually, I need to slow down. I'm so tired. My legs, oh my gosh, when I was going up those hills, I just, I was dying so much. <laughs> it's all right though. Every time I do it, it'll get easier and easier and I'll get stronger and stronger and more fit and it's all good. I'm so sad. They like took apart the water fountain and completely disabled it because of coronavirus. But I'm so thirsty. And my other water bottle that I just chugged was only like filled up halfway. And I'm so thirsty. And I can get no more water until like I get home, which is in like 20 minutes, but still I'm so, oh. So I just got home and now my mum is making me leave again to go get groceries, which I think is, yeah. Okay, I've arrived home now. I'm, oh, <laughs> oop, um, arrived home as you can see. Home, um, and I'm gonna go inside and make my breakfast because I'm starving because it's currently 10.30, yay. retired upstairs and puffed out because I walked up the stairs and it was tiring um, <clears throat> just finished my breakfast which was really good um, as you saw that is the breakfast I've been having for like the past week and a half and it's really good adding honey into the oats was a game changer like adding honey makes it so much nicer so I would recommend that um, but now I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and then I'll do some more rolling um, and later today I'm going to do hurdle drills because at university I want to start doing steeplechase. I've wanted to start doing steeplechase for probably about the last five years, but I just haven't. Um, but I'm going to start doing it when I get to university. So I'm going to start doing hurdle drills as of this week um, to try and get me a bit more flexible in the hip area because I am very, very, very inflexible. So I'm going to do that later today. And we have had hurdles. We've just had like four of those like hurdles that you can just stand up um for like the past eight years we've just always had them I don't know why or oh, actually I do because <laughs> when me and my sister did little athletics like ages ago when we were like eight years old um mum bought us actually no our cousins bought us a shot put and a discus I think and then mum bought us a javelin and hurdles and then we will go out and practice all of the different events just for fun not to try and be good at them because obviously I was never going to be good at shot put but like just for fun um because we enjoyed it so yeah we still have the hurdles, we've kept them because um, I'm going to start doing hurdle drills now. So I'll show you that later today. Apologies for my face. We appear to have like a little bit of an issue going on. Um, but like, that's life. That is life. Also, I need to have a shower so I can like not look like a bald egg, you know?
I've just been editing the first clips from this video that you're watching. Um, and now I'm going to go downstairs and do some chores, householdy chores, and have lunch and make my sister lunch. Also, the thumbnail, how funny is it? I took this photo like a couple of weeks ago and I'm wearing the exact same outfit I was wearing today. So now I can put it in the thumbnail and it looks like coherent. We got a new dishwasher today because the one that came with the house was very dodgy and our dishes kept coming out dirty. So, oh, I think someone's mostly unstacked this already. <laughs> oh, that must be mum. Um, just got to unstack the last little bit and then restack with all of these dirty dishes. I get in trouble in this household because apparently I create the most dishes, which is true because I actually make food, like I make porridge, you know? Other people just have cereal or toast, which doesn't like, which just has like a plate or a bowl, whereas I make porridge, which is like in a saucepan. And then I make lunch, like I might have salmon for lunch and I will fry it, you know, in a fry pan. We got new crockery yesterday. We like replaced all of our old crockery with new crockery from Ikea and it's so much nicer. It makes me very, very happy. I probably should not be this excited about it, but I am. Wait, 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 I'll show you, I'll show you. Look, we have all of the crockery and then we have these little cute little pastel plastic ones. These are actually a vibe these plates they're very useful but look how cute like how nice does that cupboard look now it is an absolute vibe and we got a knife block as well because before we had like no sharp knives at all and it was an issue if you saw my last vlog um you will know <laughs> we had no sharp knives if you know you know Obviously in the lunch you can see we have salmon, avocado, vegetables and then at the bottom is a bunch of white rice which was left over from dinner last night. And it is so, so good. This is one of my favourite lunches. Just like salmon. Salmon is the bomb. And then avocado and then rice and then veggies. Mmm, so good. Mmm, look at the salmon. It's so good. Salmon is just like so good I am in absolute love I've loved salmon for like so long it's actually just the best look how like look look how good it is it's just amazing okay yeah <laughs> I just realized something I completely forgot to do after lunch and I have no idea why, but it's have my after lunch snack. I always have medjool dates and peanut butter as a snack after lunch, like straight after lunch, every day. And I didn't today. I think I was like engrossed in reading my book, but I had lunch like half an hour ago, so I'm gonna go have that now because otherwise I just cannot cope, you know? I have gotta have my medjool dates and peanut butter. And someone in the comments section the other day said to try them with walnuts. So I'm gonna try them with walnuts today. Because that is interesting. I had never heard that before, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so we actually randomly had a packet of walnuts in the cupboard. I think I bought these like 
six months ago. But I've got my dates here, as you can see. Metro dates with peanut butter. And I'm going to try them with walnuts. Okay, walnut, medjool date with peanut butter. I'm just going to like put it in there. That is so good. Hi, Bob. That is really good. Oh my gosh. You've put me on something now. Your earphones are upstairs. Your phone? No idea where it is. Huh. You have put me onto something good there because it adds an element of crunch. Like you need the element of crunch. And there's also something about like the flavor of the walnut that just tastes really good. It's like, oh my gosh, it balances perfectly. That is such a good idea. Guys, medjool dates, peanut butter, and walnuts is the new combination. You need to try it. Comment down below and let me know if you try it because it's really good. Hello, so I'm now in my garage and I have set up the four hurdles that we have um, and I'm going to roll these doors up so that you guys can see properly. But I'm just going to do my hurdle drills now. So wait a second. You're a bit wonky. Okay, so keep in mind that I haven't done these hurdle drills for probably about two or three years. Um, I'm just starting them again as of this week um, and going forward. I'm gonna try and do them like three times a week, maybe three or four times a week. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be very, very rusty and I'm very inflexible and I just do not look good. I do not make it look easy. I do not make this look easy. I make it look very hard because I'm not good at it. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway. Oh, are they too close together? No, they're a bit close together. Okay, so those were my hurdle drills. Oh, the lighting. Wait, let's, that's better. Um, normally it takes a lot longer. That was like really, really quick, but I realized that the reason that normally it takes a lot longer is because normally there's like seven or eight girls who are cycling through the hurdles. Um, so you get to the back of the line and then you wait for your turn to go through. Um, so obviously it takes a lot longer with more people, but yeah, my technique was probably awful. I'm just not, 
me and hurdling technique does not go well. I literally like when I do hurdles in races, I bunny hop over them like way back. I, the last time I did a hurdles race was probably like when I was 14. Um, so that's a while ago, four years, five years probably actually. Um, but yeah, I I'd always like bunny hop over the hurdles because my legs aren't flexible enough to do. Like if you look at pictures of Sally Pearson going over hurdles, her legs are like in the perfect like boo boo and then boo. Like her front leg is straight out over the hurdles and her back leg is like behind. But I just like go like. Um, anyway, <laughs> my technique has always been really bad because I'm just not flexible. But I'm going to try and work on it because if I want to do steeple, I don't have to have the best hurdling technique, but I need to have an okay hurdling technique and I need to conquer my fear of the water jump more importantly because oh my gosh have I told you about my water jump story um so this was like last year sometime um I told my coach I wanted to do steeple chase at some stage and she was like okay just come to the track when I'm doing a steeple session um which was before strive one time and <laughs> I went down to the track and there was like three other people there doing the steeple session and we were doing water jumps and so first we practiced into the sand pit and it was fine I mean I wasn't very good but I got over the hurdle then we go into the water jump and I was really really nervous because I'm just really petrified of the water jump and everyone was like no no Tia you'll be fine if you, like once you go and you just do it you'll actually be fine like you're not gonna have any problems on it you're just scared of it like but you're gonna be fine and so I was like huh, okay um anyway so I ran up did the water jump absolutely face planted into the water I literally went for a swim I came out soaking wet um I don't know what happened but you're not supposed to end up in the water and I was literally in the water in the deepest part so now I'm even more scared of the water jump and I haven't done it since because then I tried to do another one and I ran up and I was too scared to go over the hurdle so I just like didn't I need to conquer that fear I don't know how though because it's so scary because mm, ah. like I, I, I what I worry about is that like I run up to the hurdle and my foot because when you do a war jump you run up to the hurdle and then you put one foot on it and then push off that foot and then go over the water and continue running um that's probably like the technique that most people use um so I'm really scared that when I like I run up to it and then when I put my foot on it something will happen and my like with my spikes and like I'll slip off the hurdle or I, my foot won't get onto the hurdle properly and then I'm just going to slip and fall and really really hurt myself or like I completely miss the hurdle and then I act, like straddle so I like I run and I jump but my foot goes in front of the hurdle and then like I'm straddled on the hurdle and like tumble face first into the deep part of the water but it's actually not that deep so I would hurt myself like there's there's just so many things that could go wrong and that's the part that I'm scared of I'm not scared like of landing in the water I'm fine to land in the water although wait maybe I'm scared of that as well but I'm mostly scared of like the pushing off part because I'm scared that my foot isn't going to like hit like stand on the hurdle the correct way anyway yeah that's why i'm scared so if you have any advice please comment down below because i'm literally so so scared of the water chop i don't want to do it again and i was doing it when i had fresh legs like i wasn't tired during a steeple race like during a steeplechase race i'd be really really tired by like the second third fourth fifth laps um and so i would be trying to do that water jump while i'm tired which is why which which is why I think my foot would slip or not get in the right position and then I'd fall and really hurt myself. So, ah, please comment down below help if you have any help because I need help. Ah. I'm now having a snack of some yogurt, Greek yogurt with honey. Um, it's so, so good. Um, another reason why I like filming these vlogs, like I just, well, lots of reasons. There's lots of reasons why I like filming these vlogs, but one of the reasons is that it can double as like a what I eat in the day and what my training is and what I'm doing in the day. And it's just like, I can talk about so many things and I can talk about like different things in the vlog if you want me to talk about them. Um, and I just, these are my absolute favorite videos to film vlogs of my day, like daily vlogs. They're just, I love filming them so much. So I'm gonna <laughs> film quite a few. If that's all right with you guys, let me know down below if you enjoy these videos. Um, Cause I love, love, love filming them and I love, love, love editing them as well. They're my favorite videos to film and my favorite videos to edit. So yeah, um, probably makes sense that I should film a few more of them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Anyway, I'm gonna have my yogurt because... Mm. 
I'm still hungry, so I'm gonna have some popcorn and I wanna show you this. It's my current favorite popcorn. It's so good, lightly salted, slightly sweet. And there's these like pieces of popcorn and they've got this like, oh, just wait, I'll show you. See these bits, they've got all this like caramelly stuff all over them and they're so sweet and so salty and they're just so, so good. And there's like, oh, like some pieces are more like that than others and so I get the pieces that like are really really caramely and like salty and I like pull them out and I eat all of them first before I eat the rest of the popcorn because they're so good. Oh no, my camera's dying. Oh no. Wait. Okay. Oh, gotta get quite low. Um, I... So it is currently about quarter past six, so I really need to like do my cores and have a shower and cook dinner because time is getting on um, and I've got to call someone about university stuff tonight, so <laughs> I need to like hurry, hurry. So now I'm just going to do my cores, so I'm just going to do like 10 minutes of core and arm exercises um, and then I'll go have a shower, cook dinner and get on with stuff. So yeah. Here we go. I just realized, oh, oh, shadows, not, not good. Um, oh, I'm not looking at my best. Um, I just realized I have so much stuff to get done tonight. That's such a pain. That's such a pain. Ah! Hello, I'm in the kitchen. So I, I need to make like a peace sign compilation of all the times I've done the peace sign throughout videos because I don't know, I, I'm not someone who does this all the time in real life, but sometimes in videos I just need to make a hand gesture and this just seems to be the one that comes out. Anyway, I'll make a compilation for you for this video. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that, but um, I'm currently making dinner. We are having a pasta sauce, which I am doing in a thermomix. Then I'm gonna boil some pasta in a pot that is going to be here, boiling with pasta. <laughs> Don't know why I needed to demonstrate that. Um, so we're having pasta and a tomato-based pasta sauce, and then we're gonna have chicken and bacon for those who want it. I don't like bacon, it makes me feel sick. So I'm not gonna have bacon, I'm just gonna have some chicken um, and tomato pasta sauce and pasta. So yeah. Fun, fun, fun. But that's like a lot of things for me to cook because I gotta do the pasta sauce, then the pasta, then the chicken, then the bacon, and I gotta do them like separately because like not everyone wants everything else. Like, mm -mm. anyway, yeah. <laughs> there it is again. You can probably tell my um, dance move repertoire is very limited, but I try my best. Was. I've 
And the actual number of cases has fallen to 103. Yeah, it does. Okay, oh no, the lighting is so bad. Let me just, can I turn on my ring light? Oh, okay, that is so, oh, that's a bit bright. Actually, it's also a bit, um, yeah, okay. Um, alright, that is a lot better. I'm just going to hold my camera, but... Um, okay, so that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Um, it's like 8.30 now and I've just got to go on a call um, because different time zones and stuff. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go on that call now and then that shouldn't take too long, um, hopefully. And then I'm just going to go down and spend a bit more time with my family. And then I normally try to get into bed around 10 o'clock. Ideally, it would be earlier. But it never seems to happen earlier, so um, yeah, that's the plan. And I will end the vlog here, but if I have any more snacks, which I will, I will update you. Um, and I also need to have a shower. I can't believe I haven't had a shower the whole day today. I do have a tendency, like I have a habit to just stay in whatever clothes I'm wearing. Like when I would come home after school, like some days if I didn't have training, I would get home at like 4 o'clock and I would stay in my school uniform until like 8 p.m. Because I just like, I just stay in the clothes. Anyway, need to have a shower. Um, and I don't know, I really enjoyed vlogging today. So I might vlog again tomorrow. Um, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, make sure to go check out my last um, video, which was a vlog very, very similar to this one. It was also a day in my life as a teenage runner. So yeah, if you liked this one, you'll probably enjoy that one as well. So if you haven't already, head over and check that one out. Um, but as for this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below like i mentioned i'm gonna film more videos um more daily vlogs and running vlogs and uh, my arm's getting sore um <laughs> more videos like this one so yeah if you would like to see them then subscribe so that you can see them <laughs> um thank you so much for watching this video i know these vlogs are quite long but I think I'm trying to do that, number one, because it just happens, because I talk so much. And number two, because my day is like 12 hours long. No, like 15 hours long. Um, and trying to get it into like, I get it into like around 35 minutes. Like that's quite a, you know, that's quite good condensing. Um, <laughs> and also just because we're all in self-isolation at the moment. So you can probably, um, you probably have a bit of extra time um, and I hope, like watching these vlogs is a little bit like watching an episode of a TV show and you can just sit down and relax for like over half an hour and just watch one thing. Um, and I hope, yeah, I hope you like doing that. So, But do give me any feedback in the comment section down below. Give me, like, if you want me to discuss a particular topic during my vlogs, I'm happy to sit down like during a vlog and talk about a certain topic. If you want me to show more of this or less of this, or if you want me to include this or that or whatever, if you want them to be longer, shorter, <laughs> longer. <laughs> oh my gosh, if they were longer, they'd be like an hour. But if you want like vlogs that are an hour, I can definitely talk enough to fill an hour. I actually did a story time the other day that was like 57 minutes. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> But yeah, let me know like what sort of length you like and what you want me to include. Give me heaps of feedback in the comments, please, because I will take your feedback on board and probably do what you say because, yeah, you guys are the people that I'm making the videos for. Anyway, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because if you've got to the end of this video, then like, surely, like, you should subscribe. <laughs> um, and yeah, like it. And what's the other thing? Oh yeah, turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload a new video because then you can be the first to comment. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm going to go because I'm making no sense and I need to go on my call. I need to have a shower, okay. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that when I was like in year two and you'd like do a PowerPoint presentation and speech in front of the class and then the last slide would always just say thanks for watching with a smiley face and you'd be like thanks for watching and listening anyway okay <laughs> thanks for watching and listening bye also this ring light is just an absolute oh whoa 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 it's like black um but I love it so much it is my baby and I love it